morning, everybody. My name is Colleen Light, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My website is Cards by Coco, and I come live every Thursday to show you some either new techniques, what um, the latest stamp sets in Stampin' Up! Anyway, always happy when you can join me. I actually did a live video for this card earlier today, and when I was editing it to put it on YouTube, deleted it. So I'm popping on real quick just to do it again. Anyway, beautiful day here in Kalama, Washington. If you are in Southwest Washington and you like to craft, um, give me a shout out. Anyway, today we're working with the Driving By set. So this is a celebration set. Oh, here, I just have to take a peek outside. I can see the bunny rabbits out there. Anyway, um, the Driving By stamp set, which is um, just so much fun. So let me go ahead, I'll flip the camera around, you'll get a quick glimpse of my messy craft room. I'll bring you up on the laptop so I can see comments and we'll get busy with today's project. Anyway, I'm always so happy when people take time out of their day to join me. I'm gonna try not to bounce the camera around. Let's see here. Let me make sure we have a good orientation going because it said to rotate my phone around so I'm not sure um, that we're going to be looking okay here. Let me, let's see how it looks. Yep, I think we're okay. And let me go ahead and turn off my volume. Nobody needs to hear me. Perfect. Okay, so if you are here, give me a hello if you're catching on the replay. Let me know that you're on the replay. Um, I always like to hear from everybody. Okay, so like I said, driving by is the stamp set of the morning. So this is super cute. It is a red rubber stamp set. I've got some of them already mounted on um, blocks. You've got style, aw thanks, and driving by to say hi. So like I am a child of the 60s and 70s. And so these vans to me just are fun. They're, they're just fun and the cars. So let me show you some, I always start by casing the catalog. I think if you followed me for any length of time, you know that. Here, let me see if I pull this forward a little bit. Yeah, that, I think that'll work better. Um, I always start by casing the catalog. So let me show you some of the samples I made um, just just to kind of get used to things. So this one here I thought was super cute and I love the colors. You know, not everyone's an orange person. I love the color orange and this one just made me happy. But anyway, I toned down the colors a little bit. This is driving by just to have fun. Um, you know, I never really have masculine birthday cards to mail out. So I thought this one was super cute. I just did a little coloring. Okay. This is pretty much really couldn't get close to this design. I didn't have that um, that die. So anyway, pink. Who doesn't love a pink card? Haven't finished the inside yet. A uh, little so saffron balloons. Did a little embossing for the tag. Um, and I just thought this one was super pretty and cute. Anyway, on to today's card, um, which is either a spanner card or a bridge fold card. I've heard both terms. Anyway, this was inspired by Donna Dresp who sent me the most beautiful um, card when I was recovering from my accident. Um, just, just beautiful and she used the peach sweet set and so this is really inspired by Donna. So Donna, if you're watching, thank you and hi. Anyway, Hers was a little fancier than mine. I'm trying to cut down on the bulk. I mail most of my cards, so I'm really trying to cut down on the bulkiness. But this is such a fun card. It sits up like this, and it's so hard to show on camera. Anyway, it does stand up. But you have your one layer here, and then another layer here. So if you wanted to, to fancy this card up, you would, you would cut four panels, and you would put another two here, and then you would cut another one of these panels, but use your basic white and put that in the center here, lining, making sure you're lining everything up. Um, and then write your note on that center panel and that would fancy it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. I'm changing the colors out, but today we're gonna go ahead before we do anything and we are going to do some stamping because I want things dry. 
So I'm going to rattle off some dimensions as we do this. But remember, I always have a tendency to say things a little backwards. So, um, you know, I guess all I can say is it's probably okay to listen to them what I'm saying. But double check the the measurements will be underneath my YouTube video in the descriptive part. And I also have a blog, Cards by Coco. And that is where I write everything up and also link the videos. Okay, so I've got my just driving by because I want my ink to be dry. So we're going to go ahead and stamp this in our tuxedo black. And I'm going to do a little sample here. You can see my paper's all messy from this morning. Um, I seem to do okay recording videos, but the editing still is a little bit of a problem for me. So anyway, driving by just to say hi. And I'm going to set this aside. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, hi, Sharon. Good morning. How are you? Hopefully, um, and I won't lose it in the process. <laughs> I think you have all seen that. <laughs> We're going to do a little paper piercing today. And this is the fun part of today's card. I have just discovered this when, you know, I saw this initially. Um, what was a set? Does anyone remember what the set was that had the... Um, the skirts, you know, it had like the Christmas tree and the presents and the skirts and whatnot. And I really saw people do the paper piercing um, using that set and changing how the skirts and, and the presents and everything looked. And I thought, oh, that is so much fun. So I showed you one celebration product that is yours if you spend $50 or more, um, not including your shipping or your tax. Now I'm going to show you another one um, that I'm using today, and it is actually the, what is it, Happiness in Rainbow Paper. Is that what it's called? Let me double check myself, folks. Sunshine in Rainbows. Well, it makes me happy, so maybe that's why I said happiness. Anyway, you get so much of this, so much paper. I'm going to, I always flip it around, um, just so much, and it is so much fun. I have used it on a few other cards. Um, in fact, I can show you one, I have it out, where I just used dies and cut out the paper to make those fun rainbows. All right, so again, you can find this in your celebration catalog. On page eight, free, with your $50 purchase, Sunshine and Rainbow 6x6 six six designer series paper. All right, so... We're gonna do we're gonna do some stamping on this now. I ha already have one of these cut out, so I'm gonna show you how to do the paper piercing. But um, we're not actually gonna fussy cut everything. I think I am the world's worst fussy cutter. Do you guys like to fussy cut where you take your snips and go round, round, round? I am just it's not my strong strength. Not my strong strength. Although I do think it's a really super fun technique. So it may have to become my strong strength because I tell you, I had a lot of fun making this card. So anyway, I'm stamping one of the vans there and I'm gonna turn my piece of paper over and I'm gonna stamp in the other corner right here because I need one for the top and one for the bottom. While that is doing its thing and drying a bit, I'll clean those stamps off after. Um, but I do want to cover up my memento black ink because sometimes I end up wearing that and that's not so much fun. All right, so I want to do a little bit of stamping again. Oh, let me grab back my van because I've got to stamp the inside piece. So let me grab back the van and the ink because we're going to put it down here in the corner for the inside of our card. And then we're going to cut some card stock and start putting our card together. All right. I just really like this van. I just can't seem to have it in enough places. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, and that is one of the things I love about Stampin' Up. Number one, I love celebration time. The joining special is great. Um, you know, it's the $99 for $125 worth of product, um, which is great value. And then two free stamp sets this time around. So even better value. 
Anyway, I'm using Misty Moonlight. Cut it five and a half by eight and a half, scored it four and a quarter. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cut this here pretty soon. You could color the inside if you wanted to. I probably won't. Um, so we, I'm gonna show you how to cut this while everything works on drying a little bit. I wanna make sure that ink is good and dry. So, let's see here. We want to make our panels and we want our panels to be in one and a quarter inch. Some people like to start from the top. Some people start from the bottom. I like to start from the top. So I'm going to find my one and quarter inch. Let me see. I don't know. If, let me see if I can bring that down a little bit more. There's our quarter inch mark. The blade, the cutting blade has a little notch right there. And that's what you're going to want to line up with your burnished edge there because you really want this at one and a quarter we need our panels to match and we don't want to cut through our paper too much so i'm going to stop there if i have to snip a little bit i will see Ta -da! all right i'm turning mine over because i am incredibly right-handed and if i try and do it any other way um i'm just going to end up with a big old mess okay so here we go Sometimes I go a little far, it doesn't really matter. But there's our flaps, easy peasy. All right, so we're gonna start putting this card together and then we're gonna get to the paper piercing part, which is the fun, fun part. So I've got my panels here and I have a basic white panel at one and an eighth by four and an eighth. I think that's the measurements, let me see. Let's see here. Yep, that's what it looks like. And then we have this other one here, which would be one inch by four inches. All right, let's get some glue going. So this is a directional pattern. Let me bring over my silicone mat so I don't get glue everywhere. So I had this upside down. I think this bottle must be almost empty. And I'm doing this because I might need a little bit of wiggle room. So that's why I chose the multi-purpose glue and not the, um, not the seal like I like. Okay, so then make sure you get a good press on that. Pay attention when you're gluing this down to your panel, which way you want your clouds to go. I think they can actually kind of go either way, but you know, it's really up to you. And we have another panel here. This one doesn't look exactly even to me. You know, I think I'm gonna line it up on my paper trimmer again and make sure, and if not, I think I'm just gonna recut it. Because for whatever reason, it just doesn't seem like it is laying even to me. Like just, yeah, I think there's just that little bit at the top. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, there we go. You know how sometimes you can just Maybe not notice something like that. I'm sorry, I think I'm wiggling the table. Um, maybe you wouldn't notice that as much if you aren't putting a piece of um, designer series paper on top. Had a little lip there, so I wanna do that. Okay, look at these fun rainbows on the back. It's, I mean, I said it in one of my other videos, I just like, it screams Bobby Sherman or David Cassidy or something to me, you know? <laughs> which I know is dating myself. <laughs> See, I think I wanna scoot that over a little bit. There we go. And then down, we're gonna put this piece of paper. So I actually had the Bobby Sherman poster. Do y'all remember? Well, if you're younger and you're watching, you will not remember this. But for people in my age group, do you all remember when Bobby Sherman's album actually had like it came out in three and made a poster? Anyway, my kids are probably watching just laughing like, Mom, who is Bobby Sherman and why are you talking about him? Anyway, white, basic white, two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And then I used some of the coordinating Misty Moonlight card um, from this, I want to say rainbows and happiness, and I know that's not it. It's um, sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> So in the, again, again, the one value part of buying anything from Stampin' Up is the color coordination. You just cannot beat it. Um, 
it's probably for those of us that are not good with color and I'm raising my hand, you can't see me. Um, that is really the selling point for me is that I know what I'm gonna get is gonna match. <laughs> I don't have to put a lot of thinking into it. Okay, look at that. So now we have our panels for the front. So this is pretty easy. I usually start with the one in the center first. Um, I don't know why. I think I watched a video earlier on and that's what one demonstrator said to do and that's what I've just always done. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And let's see here. Kind of line that up. Remember, it is handmade. It's not going to be perfect. And once you realize that, kind of all the stress of card making goes away. You're like, ah, eh, nope, not going to be perfect. It's handmade. I'm going to do the best we can. Anyway, have you heard that I was approved for my um, team's name, which is the Lighthearted Stamper? So that's pretty exciting for me. And let's see here. And this is a pretty good time to join Stampin' Up, um, like I said, during during celebration. I think those are the best times to join. Actually, I guess the best time to join is whenever you want to because it's just a fun, fun hobby. Anyway, and we're gonna put this piece here, trying to line it up. That piece is a little wonky, but you know what? We're not gonna worry about it. Let me see here, a little bit of glue. Nothing the fingernail won't take care of. There we go. That's what the front looks like. Now we're going to have some fun with this piece of window sheet, which is clear. Um, so let me show you how this comes. Oops, my goodness. I didn't realize that wasn't taped down. Anyway, window sheets come in a package like this. You get two of them. And they're big. They're, they're a good size. So, you know... Um, this is going to last you an incredibly long length of time. <laughs> so, and I'm going to just put some seal on either side. And we're going to get this here. No, I want it underneath. Okay, so I'm going to... I know about where I want it because I've made this card a couple of times. So I'm going to just lay it down. There we go. And give that a press. Now, if you if you thought to yourself, oh, I hate that I can just see that adhesive, put a panel there. It's a quick and easy fix. You just put another panel there. Oops, this is actually supposed to go on top. But, so look at this. We're just going to cheat. There we go. Easy peasy. And we had that other one. Let me see here. Here's this, and I had my sentiment that I said, oh, watch me lose that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to glue this on here because I want it to dry. Once this is done, I'm going to show you how to do paper piercing not piercing, piecing, paper piecing, which is the fun part of the video. But I wanted to get most of this constructed and then I'm gonna show you how we finish this car or this card off, cards on the brain. So look at how cute that is. Okay, so let's get out our scrap piece of paper here and let's get out our van. I want to I use the dark so saffron with the bullet point. So what is this called here? I am not a car person. My husband is a car person. He could tell me right off the top of his head what this little thing. Anyway, this little part by the window is what I'm doing with the coloring. And then you're gonna wanna color in your tires and your fenders and everything, but that's not really the funnest part of this video. The fun part of the video is really learning how to trim this up. And so we're going to do some fussy cutting. The trick to fussy cutting, which I, like I said, is not, I'm not the best at, is to move your paper and just bring your scissors up and down. But I'm not great at it. I would rather use a die any day of the week. 
but I thought this made the van look so cute that I had to try it. I just, I had to do it. And I think I'm gonna try it even more and more um, just because I think it's fun. Maybe, maybe if I can finish it, maybe it'll be fun. Anyway, normally when you're fussy cutting, you wanna leave a little bit of the white edge around it, right? Because you want the border so it pops a little bit more. On this, because we're going to be gluing it onto our van, we want to, to trim as close as we can to that black line. So I'm going to give this a snip here. And I'm going to follow that black line. And we're gonna just twist our paper, go around the fender and the exhaust pipe, bring it down around the wheel, the wheel cover, the wheel, you know, the wheelie thing. <laughs> I am not a car person. <laughs> so I don't even know what it's called. Fender, I don't know. Anyway. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. And just go around, fussy cut, fussy cut, fussy cut, fussy cut. Now I know people who absolutely love to fussy cut. They would cut everything out by hand if they could. Um, they love it. That's not me. Anyway, so. I um, love to do quilling too. I don't know if, you've, if any of you have ever quilled, but it is so much fun and it's where you twirl the paper. So I always have my quilling tweezers and I still use toothpicks to glue a lot of fine areas because that's what we did when I learned how to quill. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So I have my silicone mat because it's easy to get the glue off of and it doesn't get everywhere. And then I have my do y'all call these toothpicks or cocktail sticks? I always call them toothpicks, but you know, I don't know what everyone else calls them. Anyway, and you'd think they'd be in the kitchen, but no, they're here. They're here in the craft room. Let me move that out of the way real quick. And then I'm going to take my, take my piece of paper here. And this is paper pie piecing. And I'm just gonna put it on top of my van. How cute is that? Isn't that the best? So you can really, you can imagine all the different colors. Um, in fact, I've been kind of going through some of my stamp sets thinking, oh, I wonder what else I can fancy up using this. Okay, I'm gonna just take my toothpick again here. And let me get a drink of water real quick. Sorry guys, I have a catch in my throat. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. And I'm going to put this down here on my van. And you can just see how cute that is. So then, you know, you would come and you would take your scissors. Well, first you'd color, like, you know, you would have done your wheels and yada, yada, yada. And then you'd take your scissors and you'd start fussy cutting. And I would just wiggle around there and... You get the general idea. So you don't have to painfully watch me do that. I already have one done. I actually love how the cloud ended up at the door. I just thought that was the funnest thing. All right, now let's put our card together. This is pretty easy. So I'm gonna grab some dimensionals here and I'm just gonna put them down the side here. And three should do it. I did not want the glue to come along and um, to show through everything. Um, I didn't, I did dimensionals. I didn't want you to be able to see the dimensionals. Oh, let me put that a little higher up. The dimensionals through the window sheet. How cute is that? All right, but we're not done. But yet there's more. So I have this, and then I have this fun piece of border I cut out using the rainbow dies. So let me get that out. 
and I'll show you the dye I used. Look at that border. This is from the rain, the brilliant rainbow dies. And I have the clouds and everything out because I was making a different card. But you get a ton of dies in here and they're super fun. And like I said, I have some of them off to the side in my little tray because I've been working with them this morning. But this makes a great border. And I thought this just needed a little something extra down there. Don't you think? I mean, I think it just needed a little bit more. So we're gonna add that little bit more down there. Let me grab my glue and I'm just, okay. I wanted to make sure my sentiment was facing the right direction. Let's see here. And this was even upside down, I'm telling you. I think I'm just gonna have to get a new glue out. And then I'm going to take my border and I'm gonna look at it from the front because I wanna line it up here. And can you see just how pretty that black looks against the so saffron? And it just adds that little bit extra to your, here, I got a little bit there. Let me just pull that up. There we go. Perfect. We're gonna take our paper snips and I'm going to just trim that right up. Again, how cute is that? And we're gonna wanna line this up underneath our window sheet. So I'm gonna put some glue on it and then I'm gonna wiggle it around. And I may use my tweezers just to help me out a bit, um, just to get it in place. Mm, got a little close to that edge. Let's move that out of the way. There we go. So I'm gonna bring this down and lift, I wanna, sorry, did I have my hair in your way? I'm sorry about that if I did. I just realized the top of my head was touching the camera. All right, so that looks good, but I wanna make sure I line up my edges here. Let me see. Bring it down just a hair. Well, that looks good, huh? And you can adjust, you know, until it's just how you want it. There we go. How cute is that? Here, I'm gonna grab something. Got a little smudge there, so. How cute is that? Now we're gonna put our piece here inside. Like I said, if you wanted to make this fancier, I'm, I know I'm mailing this one out, so I'm just trying to cut down on bulk. You could make these panels, make four of them, instead of two, and you could bring those down here. You could make this panel just in your basic white and put that in the center. So you'd still have the night, um, the misty moonlight color in between, but you could do that instead of what I'm doing. And if you didn't like the look of the window sheet where you could see the adhesive or you don't have window sheets, there's no rule that says you can't use a solid piece of cardstock and put your sentiment on top of that and your little van on top of that. It's your card. You should do it however you like and use the supplies you have. And the nice thing about this is that, um, of course, you don't have to use the vans. This is just a fun, fun um, card to make with any variety of sets. All right, so I'm going to put this here on the inside and finish off the inside of this card. And the one thing that I added that I thought was so fun are these brushed brass butterflies. Have you all, look at the sparkle on those. Have you seen those? They're so much fun. Okay, so I want a big butterfly up here. Let me get that glue off my finger. Get this unattached from me. 
<laughs> and I want a big butterfly up here in the corner. You know, I've been really hooked on those iridescent gems lately, but I thought the butterfly suited this card better. Okay, then I want to bring another big butterfly. I think I'm going to bring it down here closer to the van. And then I'm going to take a little one and kind of pop that right there on that window sheet. And this is our finished card for today. So, Spanner Fold or Bridge Fold? I'm not exactly sure. I've heard it called both ways. Um, it opens like this and like this. And it would sit up, I guess, like that. <laughs> I'm trying to show you on the camera how it would sit up. So that's one card I made. This is another one using the exact same layout. And then let me show you the other two. I always like to give plenty of choices um, and show you kind of different things you can do with the same set. You know, I think my takeaway for today is when you have everything out, make more than one card, you know, play around a little bit. And then the more you play on it, just you'll land on the design you really like. I actually like these colors. I'm a bright color person. Not everyone is as much of a yellow and orange person as I am. So I made this one with a little bit of the misty moonlight. All right, y'all, thank you so much for joining me, um, especially since this was take two. I'll see you next Thursday at nine o'clock in the morning. You all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. And don't forget those, the, the cutting dimensions will be underneath the descriptive part on my YouTube video later today and also in my blog post. Okay, bye-bye.